it feels exactly like what it is. A bunch of super small needles going back and forth very, very quickly, scraping against your skin, cutting it open, and then putting the ink in like that first layer of skin. That's exactly what it feels like. Was goody. It's your boy Rhino. You guys are watching Love the Surf. Hopefully you're having a great day. Now you guys already read the title, most likely. We're doing something a little bit different today. This video has been requested by a handful of people, so I figured, you know, why not? We can do it. I'm gonna be breaking down my tattoos. I've gotten a few recently, and I'm gonna be explaining my tattoos, which ones I got first, the meaning behind them, all that good stuff. At the end, I'm gonna give you guys some advice on if you guys want tattoos and what you should do, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna stop the jibber jabber. Let's hop right into it. So yeah, I figured why don't I start from the very beginning. I'm just gonna go in order of what I got and I might even drop the artist's names in the description if you guys wanna know that. So yeah, here we go. The first tattoo I got was this one. This is my grandfather's signature. His name was William Reynolds. I got this signature off of, he was a sailor and it was like on his sailor card. It was like a sailor passport almost. So I took that signature and told the guy to blow it up. So yeah, my grandfather passed away before, before I was born. And from what I was told from my mother is he was a very humble guy, really nice guy and smart with his money and just an all around great person. So I figured why not pay homage to my family and get my grandfather's name tattooed on my chest. I figured go big or go home. It was my first tattoo, so I feel like it had to be really meaningful, so that's why I got his name on me. Next one is this dove. The dove tattoo I got shortly after, and I kind of got it to represent my grandmother. She passed away my freshman year of high school, and these are my grandparents on my mother's side, but they were super awesome, sweet people, and I like to have reminders of my family on me. I just think that's a cool concept and a cool thing you can do with tattoos, so yeah, I got that for her. And yeah, my I'm actually named after my grandfather, because my my middle name is William. So, <laughs> fun fact, Ryan William Burton. <laughs> Next one I got is this eyeball, this female's eyeball. You know, she got the wing and everything going. I like this one. I figured if I'm gonna get stuff on my arm, it better look dope and people better wanna compliment me. I can't have garbage on my arm. So I figured this one, I went to a really nice artist. His name was Brian Merck. Super talented, obviously it's crazy realistic and I always get complimented on this one. And I really got it just because I view it as more like an angelic eye because it's clearly a female's eye. That's why I got it. And a lot of people who don't have tattoos, I think, they don't like them. They feel like you have to attach crazy meaning to the tattoos in order to get them. And I feel like once you start getting tattoos, you realize it's art. Like if it looks cool, why not? Like you can rock it. It's like an outfit. If you think an outfit looks cool, throw it on. Except this is a permanent outfit. The Washington Nationals W. Wow. Your guys' favorite one, the Walgreens tattoo. I do not care how many people bash this one or make jokes that it's Walgreens or whatever. This is still one of my favorite tattoos. For those of you who don't know, no, Washington Nationals is a baseball team in DC and that's the W for Washington, Maryland, and I'm from Maryland. So I wanted to get a Maryland tattoo that kind of symbolized the area and it's kind of like an iconic image. Still, one of my favorites and I don't care how many people roast me, I do not care. It kind of blew my mind. How do people know what the Walgreens logo looks like but don't know the damn Washington Nationals? Beyond me, I ain't worried. Next one I got was this moth. It looks like a butterfly. I just call it a butterfly, but it's technically a moth. I got it shortly after this one. And I got it because I'm actually terrified of moths and butterflies. I don't know if it was that one episode of SpongeBob growing up. You know the one that had a butterfly and that shit was like close up. And it showed like the eyes, they were like all scary. <laughs> Maybe that's kind of what scarred me, but any hoosies. Butterflies and moths scare me, so I was like, why not be freaking dope and tat it on me? Cause like, face your fears. I am a loser. And funny story, I almost passed out in the Uber on the way back because I didn't eat anything that day. So always eat before the tattoos. That was a very terrible experience. Next one I got here on my forearm. Hard to see it maybe. This is a teacup. It's a teacup with strawberries. It's got strawberry flowers. It looks like a bell when I hold my arm up like this, but it's actually a teacup teacup. I got the teacup for my mom. Don't worry, she's still alive. I got it because she's from Ireland. That's like my mom's from Northern Ireland and that's my whole other side of the family and she is a big tea drinker. So I was like, you know, I'm a mom's boy. So I figured why not get something to represent her. She's very important to me in my life. Yeah, and I even has her initials on it, HB. She doesn't know that, but she will when she sees the video. Mom, if you're watching this, send me a cute text saying, oh, you're the best son ever. Here's a thousand dollars. The next ones I got 
got kind of with each other. My man, Jesus Christ. This one I got at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention. That was a cool time. If you ever get to go to a tattoo convention, those are fun to go to. So yeah, Jesus, I'm not a super, super religious person. I don't really be going to church like that, but I think this is a way of showing my faith. I'm not one of those people that stands with the arms in the air at the church pew and like, oh, Jesus, take me away. I don't, that's uncomfortable for me. So I'm gonna try to keep it pretty simple. The Jesus one, whether or not there's an afterlife, I don't know, I can't confirm that. I've never been there. I don't wanna go there anytime soon. This is just my way of showing my faith. Sometimes when there's that turbulence on a flight, I'll be like, Grasping Jesus, like, not now. <laughs> I got stuff to do. This bad boy, I got the day after. And this one is a American traditional style, as you can see. And it's a poppy flower with the banner. It's got like a little banner going across of this girl's eyes. She got some freckles going on. This one doesn't really have meaning. I just think it looked cool. This is hands down the most painful tattoo I've ever gotten. Ow. But it was worth it. I love the colors, the green, red, complimentary. Love all that. Next one we got here on my wrist is this lighthouse. There's a lighthouse in Northern Ireland where I used to visit all the time. And it doesn't look like this one, but I got it to represent that. Have my guy Jeff Miller draw this up. He drew this all by hand and I love the colors on it, how they blended so nicely and the lines are so smooth. Next one, we'll just bump right up here. This is a fishing lure. I used to fish when I was younger, not anymore though, because I got to school and college and life and everything, obligations. I like the nautical theme going with the lighthouse and I was like, all right, we'll throw a little fishing lure right here. So I'm like, Guy, Jeff Miller did that one too. This one right here, this is a daisy technically, but I wanted to get the sunflower colors. So I wanted to get it in the real, like a realistic style to kind of juxtapose the traditional, like we got the traditional flower, we got some traditional flowers, and then we got the realistic. So the state flower of Maryland is a sunflower. So I wanted to get the kind of colors of this flower to be the sunflower. Cause Maryland, again, I'm from Maryland, but it's technically a daisy. So I don't know, it's like a little custom flower. Mm. This bad boy back here is my grandmother's signature. The same one I got the dub for. Her name was Minnie Reynolds. We got the signature from something. It was one of her records that she wrote in. And I figured this was a cool spot to put it. And once again, I just enjoy honoring my family because without them, my ass literally wouldn't be here. So thank you. And like growing up, whenever my brother and I and my family would travel to Ireland, she was always there like making us toast and making us feel welcome and always wanted to give me stuff. So she was an incredible woman. And and I'm just happy that I can tell you guys about her in this way. This bad boy I just got, this uh, kiss mark. It's like a rough kind of vibe to it. This one's new, so it's still peeling, but I just figured, I don't know, it's got the female eye. I might as well have the little female thing there too. That has no meaning whatsoever. I just like the placement of it right there, and I plan on getting something to fill up the rest of my arm. So this says purpose. This was the actual font or the script that's on Justin Bieber's album cover. And it's like, oh, this this dude's gay, oh my God. Now, Justin Bieber is one of my biggest role models. The word purpose, I think is really purposeful because I know that having purpose in your life is really important. So that's why I wanted to get this on my side. It's just a reminder to constantly live with purpose and have purpose and be purposeful in everything that I do. And that is all of my tattoos that I can think of. Yeah, that's all of them. All right guys, now I'm sitting down and you probably realize already I'm missing one earring. I lost the other one, yeah. Well, I'm doing one. So I'm kind of just gonna wrap things up and give you guys some tips on getting tattoos and my experiences with them. First things first, they hurt very, very, very bad, especially when you get American traditional ones, which is a specific style, which I like. Like this is traditional, this is traditional. The moth is pretty much traditional. Anything with those hard, bold lines, that hurts very, very bad. And you just need to be prepared for that. People are like, what does it feel like? I don't know. It feels like a hot bee sting with a, with a pitchfork and a It feels exactly like what it is. A bunch of super small needles going back and forth very, very quickly, scraping against your skin, cutting it open, and then putting the ink in like that first layer of skin. That's exactly what it feels like. So yeah, and there's different needles and different size of needles, and some hurt more than others, or shading needles and lining needles, all that good stuff. And I said this before, but like people always compliment me on them, which I always say like, well, don't compliment me. Thank my artist. But yeah, I, I always make sure I did a lot of research for my artists. I don't just go to people that are local because a lot of people just go for convenience of like, oh, where's the nearest place to me? Oh, I'm gonna just head on over to Southern Maryland Inc. and just get my tat from Bob, Bobby Joe. Nah, dude, if you see the type of tattoos that are possible, go to conventions, go to travel, fly to the best place. Cause if you're gonna put something on your body forever, might as well be dope, am I right? 
my my ta tattoo artists are from different places. I don't know where Nicholas G is from who did this one, but I always a lot of tattoo artists even compliment me on this one because they know Nicholas G is like a really talented guy. And then my guy Kevin Patrick, I think he's from Arizona. Brian Merck isn't from here. Basically, travel. Make sure you go on Instagram, find super cool artists, save up. But my biggest advice is don't just walk into some place. That is the worst thing you could do. Like, yo, give me that on the board. Don't do that. Book an appointment, wait seven months, and then do it. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to always attach meaning to them. Sometimes you can just get a tattoo because you think it looks dope. And what I always do is I'll draw it in Sharpie on my arm or I'll print out the picture and kind of look at it for a while and sit on the tattoos for a few months before you get them because believe me, your mind will change all the time. So as long as you want it for a long ass time, then I'm like, hey, get it. And don't get a lot of tattoos when you're super young. If I'd, I would, I would until I was 18 because your body will change a lot and the ink will fade very fast if you're still young, so. Are you gonna get any face tats? Absolutely not. Do you see this face? Do you see this face right now? I look like Cameron Dallas. I couldn't, this is my money maker, baby. Do you see this? Your auntie wants a piece of this. I'm not gonna deny her. I honestly think I'm gonna get both arms tattooed. I want this one to be completely cohesive. Just all realistic, I think I'm gonna get on this arm. I think I'm gonna get more, maybe my whole back, maybe my leg. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know other people's opinions. At the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and what I like, but I do think tattoos are just super cool. Tattoos are very addictive. Once you get one, you're like, time to do my whole body. There is no other option. That happens all the time. So once again, if you're getting a tattoo, make sure you're going somewhere super cool, super expensive, very expensive. If you don't, if you're not getting an expensive tattoo, I don't get it. If it's cheap, that would just be ridiculous. Make sure you eat a lot before you go and don't pa almost pass out like I did when I got my moth one. Now I always eat and drink a ridiculous amount before I go. And I just learned this from, it's like tattoo etiquette. Don't find a tattoo and then show it to your artist and be like, give me this. It's like extremely rude because tattoo artists take their work very seriously and they're artists. So when you say, just copy this and make me this, it's like disrespectful. So whenever you bring a tattoo artist something, you could show them references or ideas but make it as original as possible and let the artist do their own thing with it because I found that that's what makes the best pieces is when the artist gets creative freedom and gets to do what they're excited about. That is all I got for you guys and if you're still here I love you. Let me know in the comments if you guys do have any tattoos and let me know what I should get next. And you know what? If this video gets 50,000 comments Noah's getting his first tattoo. Whoa whoa who said that? I did. Whoa. If this video gets 50,000 no one's getting a tattoo. Agree to it right now. And it, it'll be small. Okay, but we're not gonna get 50,000 comments, so. 50,000, it's not gonna be easy. 50,000, no one's getting a first tattoo. We'll see. Let me make it, because I know it has been really putting off getting a tattoo. He really has been. So let's do 50,000 comments, 100,000 likes. No one will be getting his first tattoo. He agreed to it. That is a big ask. I think you guys can do it, because I want to see Noah get tatted and cry when I get it. That's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Bye.